Why are you streaming twice a day? Um, because I have what you call a problem. Called addiction. Respect your chat and answer the man. No, no, I feel like the, I'm too streaming because I respect chat. Actually. Because I feel like if I only played Hardcore World of Warcraft for the last two weeks, I <laughs> could kill my channel. <laughs> Any tips for somebody who can PvP in other games? But Tarkov, I'm like a grandpa trying to figure out. Ah, I mean, practice makes perfect. Use better weapons. Try to mod your guns for the lowest vertical and horizontal recoil possible. Ergonomics is great. I, I value ergonomics, but I don't know. I, I, I honestly feel like just going for low recoil is probably just a better beginner decision in most cases. Oh yeah, try not to left peak. Try to try to position yourself if possible in a right peak situation. Um, I could sit here and explain it, but it kind of takes a visual reference to get it. And... Uh, just, just trust me on it. So. That's like kind of old gas area. Like I could push skeleton myself, actually. All right, that guy from the dorms might push these shots. Especially if he's in the dorms and he's bored. Maybe be like, want to go push those shots? Oh, there's a grenade launcher. There's a guy up there. Goons? Uh... There we go. That was pretty nice. It's kind of a risky shot because he was moving so much, but we pulled it out. I think he's got a friend, though. Because, like, someone's shooting off uh, grenade launchers at the back of the building. So, it'd be pretty ballsy if there was a dude just, like, walking in the fortress up top without a buddy shooting grenade launcher shots and stuff. Dude, I shot him in the head. I was wondering if you could see the blood. I was looking for the blood. What the fuck? You missed? I thought I'd seen the blood splat on his head. Alright, everyone's gonna know I'm up on Skelly. I need to move. Yeah. Well... I'm fairly certain that there's a second guy, but maybe those grenades were more so at the back. So I'm going to try to like flank around. Hopefully we got nobody in the trees. There might be though. Well, actually. Also, I should probably be pre-medding this. 
Doubtful that he's gonna be getting ahead in life. Oh my god. <sighs> Pretty sure he's gonna loot what belongs to you. Ah, I'd rather rotate and attack from a different position than YOLO rush in there. Oh, there's a guy right there. Unless that's a scav. Shotgun boy. Yeah, it's a class five body armor rig. You'd have to repair it. Super performances. Like I'm good. Also super heavy. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really heavy. That's the reason why I don't want to use it. Just kills your mobility. Oh, look at that. Dude, it'd be kind of cool if you could get up in that building. You know what? It's fair. If I get killed by a grenade launcher, I'm okay with it. I got my shooter born in heaven shot. That's the main thing. There's the grenade launcher boy. Okay, so there's still a like a player that's over um, at the dorms, so we got to be kind of careful because like any Yolo rush or dorms player is going to be super hungry for the PvP. So I I'm just. I gotta be mindful for the potential push here. Also, the U locks are probably worth it now, considering you can't buy them at the moment, unless they're overpriced. So, um, okay. My sorties. Pick up these sorties. He's got BPs in the mags, fresh Vaseline. How we doing? Busted leg. Shooting nades off of the 6B3? Nah, I bet you this guy had the 6B3 and this dude looted the gun and dropped his shit. That's my prediction. Rocking an AUG? Oh boy. Please switch. <laughs> 63 kilos. Where are we going? Old gas? And old gas is open. Bro, you're gonna be able to hear me stomping from miles away. <laughs> Fuck, suppressed AKS. Solid raid. Got shooter born in heaven done. On this on this one, I think I still believe it or not, I think I still need a reserve shot and streets. Appreciate it. 
Oh yeah. Ooh, 138. 